Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. A quick update on the treatment of that autopharynx tetrastigma that I talked about in that last video. I'll put a link up here somewhere for that video. The um, autopharynx looked for like two seconds like he was going to get better from that water change and then the eye just started to look a little bit more irritated. So I went ahead and I was able to remove him from the 300. It was easier than I thought. Uh, I thought I was going to have to remove the plant. Uh, you know, I thought I was going to have to remove the plants and, and uh, do all kinds of special stuff. But the truth is, is that I was able to catch him pretty quickly. And that was because he has that, uh, that, that eye that I don't think you can see out of right now. And so I was able to sneak up on him from that side and scoop him up pretty quickly. And then what I, what I had done before actually capturing him is I had set up a, an aquarium here and I'll, and I'll show it to you right, right behind me here. This is a, an, this is an acrylic, uh, like five gallon tank from Aquatop. And it has a, uh, from an internal, an internal filter right here. It kind of works like a hang on back, except it's on the inside, a hang inside filter. There's a small little top fin heater in the corner along with uh, some air coming in because I found when the bigger fish are in these smaller tanks, they really need, they really need uh, a lot of O2. So uh, I used some, some media from uh, those old Expertmatic internal filters. You see it in there? That's been floating in the sump like for months and months and months. So it's loaded with beneficial bacteria. So that's inside of that filter. And then on the bottom, I have a bag of uh, crushed coral that I pulled out of the sump. So what I did is I dissolved a tablespoon of this Fritz, Fritz A plus aquarium salt. This, this has worked in the past with this fish. This fish actually at one point had what looked like uh, a bad case of, of uh, bloat. He looked like a porcupine. All his, his eyes were bulging, his scales were bulging. He was in real bad shape. And I put them in, in a small tank, either this one or the one that I currently have the uh, plecos in. And I left him in there with a tablespoon of this stuff. And he, he responded immediately and was able to go back into the main tank in, in about a week. So I'm trying that first. So there's the update. Uh, fingers crossed. Hope he, uh, he pulls through. If the salt doesn't uh, show an improvement in a day, uh, maybe two days, I will go ahead and uh, maybe hit him with with the furon or maybe the um what do you think let me get your your, uh, your tips you think the uh, metro or perhaps the uh, paraclans or maybe the uh, furon 2 what would what would be your your med of choice in this kind of a situation if i took it from the salt to the meds let me know in the comments below as i've mentioned many many times we all learn from each other on this channel Okay, fortunately I had some stuff laying around so I could create a tank uh, very, very quickly. Uh, really all you need is some media from an established tank, as in my case, sponges and, uh, and crushed coral, and, and you're good to go. You're really good to go. And I just used water from the tank, from the tank that he was in, which had just received a giant water change. So it was really good quality water. So uh, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in and look for an update on this coming uh, Saturday's Cichlids and Coffee live stream. We'll talk about how he's doing and how the rest of the fish room is coming along. Thank you, my friends. You're the best. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.